Hi everybody, this is Shauna Odette from the Flying Cat Academy. Welcome to lesson number 32. In this lesson, we will introduce the student to TH. Let's begin by setting up the table. You'll need your top 160 sight word list, the sight word study method instruction sheet, the card pack on which, with the words on which the student is currently working, some blank index cards, a highlighter, markers, and some pencils. For the short vowel drill, you'll have the teacher instruction sheet, the keyword pictures, and the keyword sentence. For the phonemic awareness drill, the instruction sheet is needed and the colored tiles for the student. Then for the visual drill and the auditory drill, you need the teacher instruction sheet and the card pack for the student. Be sure to take out the cards once they're mastered. And you'll notice that I've got WH in the pack right now because it was introduced in the last lesson. Then you have the syllable card drill for today's lesson. This one is going to be all cut out in advance. I like to use a different color for each syllable. So all the syllable ones are in blue and all the syllable twos are in yellow and you can follow that or do whatever color you like. Then we'll have the magnetic letter tile drill instruction sheets for reading and spelling. And that goes with the cookie sheet with the rainbow, the letters spread in a rainbow shape. Then we've got the syllable pounding instruction sheet the kinesthetic discovery sheet, and the sheets that go with the lesson. That includes the isolated word list, the story, and the sentences for the writing section. Let's do the sight word study method. Student, can you take out the card pack with the words on which you're currently working? I'd like you to read through each card. When you get one correct, you'll put a check mark in the corner of the card. If there's any problems, your teacher will use blocking strategies with you. Once you're done, give the card pack to your teacher, and then it's your teacher's turn to read. Your teacher reads each card, and you write down the word. When you get it correct in the other corner of the card, you can put a check mark. And teacher, once again, you're ready with blocking strategies if the student encounters any difficulties. It's time for the short vowel drill. So student, take out your keyword pictures and your keyword sentence. With two fingers, you're going to trace the keyword, saying the keyword, and then underline it and say the target sound. For example, edi e, itchy e. Do that as many times as your teacher says is necessary. And then you're going to read the sentence, the keyword sentence, stretching out the vowel sounds as you do it. Let's do the phonemic awareness drill. Student, you're going to need your colored tiles for this one. Your word is win. Can you repeat that word? I might say, I hope I will win the race. Now I'd like you to build the word win with your colored tiles. Tap it and then say it. Okay, now take a new color and call it T. I'd like you to put T on the front of win. What's your new word? Tap it and say it. Did you get twin? If you did, that's right. Okay. Find the t in twin. Change the t into a s. What's your new word? Tap it and say it. Did you get swin? If you did, that's correct. It's not a word on its own, but it is part of swindle. Okay, now find the i in swin. Change the i into an a. Uh. What's the new word? Another nonsense one. Did you get swun? If you did, that's correct. Find the n mm in swun. Now change the n mm into a m. Mm. What's the new word? Tap it and say it. Did you get swum? If you did, that's right. Now Let's add a new color, p, onto the end of swum. What's your new word? Tap it and say it. Another nonsense one. Did you get swump? That's correct. Now find the w in swump and change the w into a t. What's your new word? Tap it and say it. Did you get stump? If you did, that's right. And that is a real word, like a tree stump. 
Okay, great job. You can put away your tiles. It's time for the visual drill. Teacher, you'll need to get out the card pack for this one. And the teacher flashes a card at the student and the student says the sound. So student, what sound does this one make? Did you say shh? If you did, that's correct. Teacher, flash about six to eight cards and then come back to me. Let's do the auditory drill. Student, I'm going to say a sound and like I'd like you to repeat it. Can you repeat that sound? Okay, what symbol goes with the sound? And if you know more than one, you can write more than one down. Okay, write it down and then underline it and repeat the sound again. Did you write down an F and a PH? If you did, that's correct. There's two different ways that you know to make the sound. Okay, student, um, or sorry, teacher, using the same card pack, can you do that method for about six to eight different cards and then come back to me? Let's do the syllable card drill. You'll tap it and say it and read down all the syllables in the left column first. Some of them will be real words and some of them will only be parts of words, but they're all syllables. Then you'll carry on and do the same thing in column two, and then you'll read across the rows to make some nonsense words. Then it's time to unscramble things, and you will take the cards in column two and unscramble them so that they match up with different ones in column one and make real words. You can discuss the meanings. Your teacher has written the meanings of those bases on the back, so you can always turn it over and see what they mean. And you'll, you can put, try to put the words in sentences as well. In the last few lessons, we've been talking about consonant digraphs. We've been talking about times where two consonants go walking and they make a brand new sound. One that we learned about in the last lesson was WH. Do you remember the sound that WH can make? There's two of them. Tell your teacher the two sounds right now. Did you say that it can make the W sound or the H sound? Either the one of W or the one of H. Most often it makes the W sound of W. Let's do a blending drill to review the sounds of WH. Another consonant digraph on which we've been working is PH. Student, do you remember the sound of PH? Tell your teacher. PH makes the same sound as the letter F. It makes the F sound. Why is it that sometimes we use this symbol and sometimes we use this symbol? Do you remember what type of words often have PH to make the F? sound? Tell your teacher now if you do remember. Did you say that PH is often used in Greek words? So that's the symbol for the sound f that lets us know where the word comes from. Let's move into the new content part of the lesson. Today we're going to learn about one final time where two consonants go walking and make a brand new sound. The team today that we're going to look at is TH. TH can make two sounds. It has a motor on sound and a motor off sound. Its motor off sound is th. Can you repeat that? Th. It happens in a lot of words, like example, think. Think, can you say that? I will think about it, think. How about moth? Thunk. Now that same sound, if we turn our motor on, turns into th. Can you make that sound? Th. And this happens in words like the, them, that. So let's start off with the th motor off sound, th. And now let's turn the motor on, th, 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 th. There you go. Um, often the, it's a motor on sound 
in those little function words that are really hard to draw, like how do you draw the, or them, or that. Right now, let's begin by making a card for TH. We're going to have the small letters, lowercase letters in the front, like in the middle here. And then we'll put the uppercase in the corner. And it's probably a good idea to put a two on the card to remind us that there's two sounds that TH can make. So I'll add the number two there. And then on the back of the card, I'm going to divide the card in two. And I want to say the motor off sound. And I'll, I'll just pick a word like moth. And then I'll draw moth. And then I'll have the motor on sound. And I'm going to show the motor on sound by capitals, TH. And my word is them. And teacher, you can spell the word for the student for this. And I, I just put two people with an arrow pointed to them, thinking it's them. And that's my card. Let's do a review of these the motor on and the motor off sound of TH, TH, and TH by doing some blending drills. If your teacher has them set up on the table, then you can just fast forward through the next part of the video. But if not, then you can use the video. Let's do the magnetic letter tile drill for reading. Student, do you have your board on hand for this one? Your sound is th. Can you repeat that sound? Now what letters make th? It might be on one tile or it might be on several tiles that you have to pull down. Find the correct tile or tiles and pull them to the middle. Your next sound is eh. Can you repeat that sound? Now find the correct tile for E eh and bring it to the middle. Your last sound is N. Mm. Can you repeat that sound? Now find the correct tile and pull it to the middle. Tap it and say it. Did you get then? If you did, that's right. You might say, I will do this, then I will do that. Okay, put your tiles away and get ready for your next word. Your sound is th. Can you repeat that sound? Okay, find the correct tile or tiles and pull them to the middle. Your next sound is i. Can you repeat that sound? Find the correct tile and pull it to the middle. And the last sound is n. Can you repeat that sound? Find the correct tile and pull it to the middle. Now tap it and say it. Did you get thin? If you did, that's correct. Good job. Teacher, if there's time and you would like to do an extra word, you can do another word. Otherwise, let's move on to the single word list. You can read down the list and then move on to the short story. Let's do the magnetic letter tile drill for writing. Student, you're going to need your board with your magnetic letter tiles on it for this one. Your word is shop. Can you repeat that word? Now let's put it in a sentence. I might say, I will go and shop tonight. Maybe I'll buy some shoes. You put it in a sentence now. Okay, what's the first sound that you hear in shop? Find the correct tile or tiles and pull them to the middle. What's the next sound that you hear in shop? Find the correct tile and pull it to the middle. And what's the last sound that you hear in shop? Find the correct tile and pull it to the middle. Now tap it and say it. Did you get S-H-O-P? If you did, that's correct. Okay, put your tiles away and get ready for a new word. Your word is them. Can you repeat that word? Okay, now can you use them in a sentence? 
I might say, I will kick the ball to them. What would you say? Okay, what's the first sound that you hear in them? Find the correct tile and pull it to the middle. What's the next sound that you hear in them? Find the correct tile and pull it to the middle. And what's the last sound that you hear in them? Find the correct tile and pull it to the middle. Now tap it and say it. Did you get T-H-E-M? If you did, that's right. Good job, you can put your board away. Now you're going to need a lined paper and a pencil, and we're going to tap out or trace some words and say the sounds. Then we'll grab the word in the air, pull it across and say the whole word, and then we'll write it down. Your word is chat. Can you repeat that word? Now you can choose whether you'd like to tap out the sounds before you try and write it, or if you'd like to trace them and say it. So choose the method you want to do, and then try and write it down. Teacher, you can check the work. Okay. Your next one is when. And I will tell you that when is a question word. That's a little clue. Okay. Start by either tapping or tracing as you say the sounds. And then write it down and teacher can check the work. Okay, did you get that that was W-H-E-N? So for all those question words, we use W-H. Who, what, where, why, when are all W-H situations. So you're almost finished. We have three sentences that um, are possible ones in the writing section. Student, you can choose the two that you would like to write. So teacher, read the sentences aloud to the student and let the student choose. And once the student writes a sentence, then please use chops to check the work student a quick review before you go. We've been talking about times where two consonants are sitting side by side and instead of blending together like we would expect them to do, they make a new sound. This is the case with one that we were looking at today, TH. TH can make two different sounds. Do you know the sounds of TH? If you do, I'd like you to tell your teacher right now. TH can say th as in thump, or th as in them. So it has a motor on sound and a motor off sound. Another one that we've been looking at, another time where two consonants go walking and make a brand new sound, is PH. What sound does this one make? Did you say f as in what the same sound as the letter F? If you did, that's correct. And PH is the f sound that we often use in Greek words. Here's another one that we've done. Instead of making the s and h sound, this makes a brand new sound. What's the sound of this one? Did you say sh? If you did, that's correct. That one only has one sound. This was the first one that we learned about, and this one has three different sounds. Do you know the three sounds? Tell your teacher if you do. Did you say ch? as in chip, and k, as in school, and sh, as in machine. If you did, that's right. CH that makes sh is quite uncommon. Usually we would use the SH sound to make that one. So for ch, that's the, by far the most common sound of CH. And then the last one that we looked at was the sounds of WH, and there are two sounds that WH can make. Tell your teacher the two sounds. Did you say it can say w as in w, the sound of w, or h, which is the sound of h? But most often it'll make the w of w. And it happens in question words, who, what, where, why, when, which. There you go. Well, great job today. That's the end of our lesson number 32. This is Shauna Odette from the Flying Cat Academy.